we debated over here, y'all. Come on with it. And welcome back today, y'all. This is um something not new, but just something I decided to do. It's called, you know, Game Comments on All Kind of Illness Debate Club. Just, you know, debating some things. So I decided to have the first little segment be the Jay-Z Part 2 of the first Jay-Z video, which I will plug into this one. And y'all can watch that one, so y'all can come back and watch this one. But, yeah, so continuing from that, the Jay-Z fiasco, I will call it. Um, we got Jay and the NFL going. Now, it's been some updates since that whole little thing popped off. We didn't have Colin Kaepernick with a little response back to um, just one of the comments. Like, not everything in the whole, but he just commented back to one of the things, basically like the kneeling. We're past the kneeling thing. I think for him, that hit a core because basically it was like Jay-Z was brushing what he did and what he, his kind of little struggle that he's going through right now, kind of brushing that under the rug. And I don't think that was too right or that didn't rub Colin Kaepernick the right way. But, you know, everybody who is involved in the movement um, and is going through something to start a movement or just even thinking about them, you know you got to calculate and have that down to AT. Because if you don't, then you're going to run into all kind of mess. And now you're looking at basically looking like a fool. And your whole movement and anything that you was going for is shut down now because now people are looking at you awkwardly because you ain't have nothing organized. So I think that kind of struck Colin Kaepernick in the wrong kind of tone. But I think the whole Jay-Z getting together with the NFL, trying to bring light to social justice thing, even though he getting all kind of arrows for it and bullets in his, in his from every direction um, about the whole matter, you know. But I think in essence is for a, a good reason, even though he got to go through the fire to get the prize. Um, sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to be that one to, to go ahead and jump into the jump into the fire, man, to go ahead and get the prize out. Um, a lot of people won't do it because a lot of people are just scared. Um, a lot of people don't want to take that chance. A lot of people don't want to tarnish their reputation or their name out here in these streets and abroad. So they're not going to do things of this nature. I guess Jay-Z then made it to a point where he like, I, I can do it. You know, I got enough accomplishments and I have enough money to be satisfied for the rest of life, you know what I mean, because he is a billionaire, so he got enough money to just chill and relax when, whenever he wants to, and secondly, he don't need the accolades because, you know, he's a million, he's a fucking million platinum artist, you know, a million record-selling platinum artist, you know, per se, so he really don't need the accolades like that, but I think, in the essence, that if we sit back and look at, um, and this coming from somebody that's not a Jay Z fan, but if you sit back and look at the whole economical benefit of this, this could usher in at least two or three black owners, and that can get some people who need the opportunity opportunity because there's a lot of really good NFL players that's sitting in the in the background not getting looked at because you know you got owners that don't want to see them because they ain't got big name recognition you know so it's that could help but um I could also see how people could say it was just somewhat of Conan but you know you gotta take salt with sugar Sometimes something is sweet, sometimes something is salty, you know what I mean? You can combine them. It's going to be kind of a weird taste, but you're still going to get sweet and salty, <laughs> no matter how you put it, even if you do put it together. So sometimes you have to take a scar to get a win, you know? All fights ain't flawless, you know what I mean? So I would say this ain't. it didn't look good publicly for him, but I guess... Money-wise and reputation-wise, it was a good move. Because even though he's a billionaire, you can still get your, your money on stronger. You know what I mean? So, he might have been doing it for that. But I think, and I, once again, not a Jay-Z fan, but I think it was a good move, even though it didn't look good. But 
I got a homie that will probably, he probably got the, the same type of drive that I do when it comes to this. You know what I'm saying? He's a J fan. So I'm going to let my boy Alpha Lords go ahead and spit to y'all a little bit about what it is and what it ain't. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to come back and let y'all know what the deal is. How clever is he cooning? Cl 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 He's clever. You don't be a 10th grade dropout and do business with the NFL 20 some years later. And everybody act like he sold us out. First of all, stop depending on these celebrities to think they're going to fucking save you. Only they, they living. Only thing they can do is help change the system to make it even for people. That's all they can do. And if they don't do that, that's, they ain't got to. That's their thing. But one, NFL's like a $100 billion operation. Like, what are you talking about? A, a nigga needs to be in them offices running around there. You can't dictate policy from the outside to an insider. So you can't do it. And most people, they don't understand that. My man's worth a billion dollars. NFL probably ain't even got it. That money he gonna make, that shit ain't no money. He gonna take that little money, help them out, put artists in a different position on an international forum, and then he's gonna fucking use their money for the social injustice shit. Like, they got reform alliance with a bunch of billionaires. NFL put like a hundred million dollars up. So and now he got a long track record of helping people, black people, all kinds of people. He took the whole Philly Department, Philly Justice Department award behind me. And free more people than just me. Come on, man. Now all of a sudden he's selling us out. First of all, y'all want people to be broke? They want people to do community work and be broke. You can't it don't work like that. You see, they killed Malcolm and Martin as soon as they start talking that money shit. Black economics, not even black. This economics is a pillar of every community. Come on, man. The people stupid, they don't understand business. 40 years ago, that man couldn't have pulled that shit off. They'd have blew his head off. He couldn't even have gotten to some of them offices. This nigga like Clarence Avert the Third. Go watch Black Godfather. This nigga literally walks in offices and tell people stuff. Go look at Irv Gotti's story when um he talking about tales when he was doing the deal with BT. Like man got power. You wouldn't understand nothing like that. Niggas talking about police and all this other shit. That man's way beyond that, my nigga. You know most most of us never seen that level, so we wouldn't understand. So, I mean, I ain't even gonna get in the cabinet. That's all those subject. I don't, I don't see how people get the heat cooling. You know, you ain't gotta like his music. That's that's a preference. But people bugging with that sellout shit, and it's always our people. <laughs> Crab in a barrel mentality. Like I said, clever. You don't get that far from out the projects with a 10th grade education, being an ex-drug dealer, to have positions that people go to college for and be, uh, come on, man, stop it. He probably did more than most of the people that's talk about him put together for his community. Go look at the Barclays. Most of the people working is black or brown. But... I'm out of here. Yes, sir. And that was my boy Alpha Lords, man. I told y'all. You know what I mean? You got to basically just sit back and look at the whole thing, man. You have to calculate it. You have to be calculated in life sometimes. Some moves you got to make, everybody ain't going to like. Some moves you got to make, you might not even like, but you got to make that move. So... That might have been one of them things. That might have been one of them situations, man. That might have been something that needed to get done because everybody else that was screaming and hollering, they wasn't doing nothing about the issues. They was just talking. So 
you got it like that. But all in all, if you hate that man because he just made a power move, then shame on you, man. I mean, if you got something deeper with him and it goes deeper than rap and deeper than in all this public image and everything, then okay, then I ain't got nothing to say about that. But if you are just a fan or not a fan and you out there like, oh, I wouldn't have did that, I'm pretty sure if somebody offered you just $100,000 and you ain't got nothing but $2,000 in your bank account, you going to do some some strange for a piece of change just with that. So I'm pretty sure if they was offering you tens of millions of dollars, I'm pretty sure yeah, none of y'all would have popped y'all collar and turned that down and been an SJW. I'm pretty sure. But if you are, if you would have and you were, then cool. Me, I'm a... I advocate hard for my people and whatever social justice that we need. But if I need to make a move like that and it basically can help me, my community, and my family, but the only thing that would be the backlash is y'all saying, oh, he a sellout? Ah, yeah, well then, I'm going to go ahead and have to sell out a few stores too, you know what I'm saying? Like GameStop and all of them and, you know, stuff like that, you know what I mean? Not to be funny, but just saying, straight up. So, with that being said, y'all, I want to know y'all thoughts, y'all comments, all that good stuff. And if y'all not subscribed to the channel, y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Y'all like, and y'all go ahead and share this, man. I'm trying to get my subscribers up too, man. Dang. Yeah, man. Love y'all, though. But this has been Debate Club. Y'all go ahead and come on back. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.